Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Um, S&P got slammed on the opening. It's been as far down as like 1350, I think. Um, it retraced a little bit. Um, this is a 15 minute chart, by the way. Notice how the 34 is tightly correlated with my 34 trend. Notice how the 8 and the 13 correspond to previous resistance lines. And then your final course of action here is a break below previous lows. Um, so as you can tell, it's been down quite a bit already. I am going to see if I can sit here long enough and watch it um, break below previous lows. Uh, another thing I want to pay attention to is, where is it? Nikai. It has broken previous lows. It is down over 327 points. It is being blasted. It just cost. It just crossed 300 points a few minutes ago. So it just, in an instant, busted right through. Here's a gap here. It's a weekly chart. I don't know how the, well these charts are on gaps. But just looking at a daily. Definitely breaking previous lows. So it broke previous lows, did a retracement. Now it's breaking breaking previous lows. We've got one more to go on this daily before it reaches no man's land again. Uh, China, it's doing a little retracement, so I don't know what's going on. The dollar opened down, it actually opened gap down, so I'll look for it to reach this other side of the uh, pattern. See if it'll reach it tomorrow. Looks like the range is good enough, it'll reach if it wants to. Uh, silver opened up, so did gold, but I'm going to sit here and watch the S&P on a 15 minute chart break previous lows as it trades closer and closer to its uh, daily lows. It already did a retracement, so now it's back see where it ends up could get interesting um, let's give you a perspective let's do a five hour chart which is breaking previous lows that's a, a double bottom right there see that right there so it's breaking previous lows um, could be a continuation because um, it got slammed on the open here it goes 1350. It's breaking previous lows on a five five hour chart. So five candles equals one day almost, basically. The daily. See if this momentum will gather and just break on through. It's 1375. Sucks because I got delayed charts, but I get to watch it anyways. All right, there's 14. Let's go back to the 15-minute chart. See if we can break it. Looks like it, it went a lot lower than I thought previously. 14.
could get drastic right here. This is a major break. 14.25. Oh, that's a long, nasty candle. 15 minute candle. I don't know when it's going to turn. It might be in about four minutes, three minutes. That's what I'm looking at. 14.25 closing on its low would be a, a very, very bad thing. Or bearish. Not, not necessarily bad. Alright, so it's hanging in there at 14.25, 14. So you can break a previous low. A little bounce. Nothing yet. Here we are, 15. Had a little bounce. Then it started breaking previous lows again. Or 15, 15, 25, 15. Once it breaks this, I'm going to go back to a longer term chart and see where we uh, so it should gain speed. I mean, this 15 points down, 15 to 5, breaking previous lows. On its lows, this candle is going to change any minute. And then we'll get a continuation and like a flood. Watch all the traders come in. Fifteen, fifteen, it's hanging on by a thread. There's no buyers. No sellers. Could be a stall in the market. <laughs> it's only 7.30 mountain time. <laughs> 15 points down. Going to break previous lows any second. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Fifteen, fifteen, two, five. New candles coming in. It's got to be coming in any second. Fifteen, two, five. Ooh, that candle's coming in. Fifteen, two, five. 1550. 1575. Candle's got to come in. A new candle. 15 minute candle. Where is it? There it is. Is it a continuation? Close on its lows. I don't think so. Should be a flood of sellers right now. 1575. New low. Be a bouncer. No. Nope. Fifty. Well, it's not the escalation of momentum I, I was expecting. Is it open below? Yeah, fifteen seventy five again, sixty two. 75, make a new low. Come on, baby. There's a five hour chart. Not sure when this candle I gets a new candle in the morning or something. I don't know.
Definitely broke those previous lows right there. 15.25. See if it'll break this previous low on the five hour chart. Could just turn around and be a double bottom, you know? Gonna make sure it breaks. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. Catch it again. So we had a little bounce and the retracement was 50% of the long candle. So let's see if it continues downward. We're at 14. 16, uh, 1575 would be a new low. So, see what happens. Here we are again, breaking, breaking down closer and closer. We're at 1560, 1550. See where we end up. Here we are, making more and more lows. Breaking a previous low of 17.25, and it's continuing 19.25. Just keeps on keeping on. Go back to that 15-minute chart. Watch it break down. Nice. Uh, longer term, you keep it in perspective, breaking previous lows here, right? A little low right there. So it just opened and just got slammed over past that previous low, right? Is that what you're seeing? That's what I'm seeing. Here we have weekly. Let's see if we can get rid of all this mess. Keep an eye on what's going on. Breaking a previous low. Just need to keep an eye on the ball. Let's use this line as the entrance to no man's land. Right there. That would be no man's land on the weekly chart. Coming in close, watch for a bounce. Watch for that uh, infamous whipsaw we got. 11 days that just looks really bad though look for a bounce off this line see where I end up in the morning it's down 1750 it's a little above previous lows hmm. well we'll see where we can end up with this thing 